Hi traders, my name is Alan Nuckman, President and Developer of the Commodity Explorer Software Program. I'm here to show you the easiest way to learn and trade the hottest markets, commodities and futures. What you're about to see is a clip from my daily future focus show broadcast on Wise Trade TV. Wise Trade TV is the only network dedicated to the individual investor by providing an interactive platform for viewers to share their hottest trade opportunities and strategies. Watch me every trading day on Wise Trade TV. Now we're going to talk about Futures 101, the trading myths, and the one today is commodities trading is a form of gambling. Oh, I don't like that word. What do you have to say about that? I don't like that. I don't like that word. And actually, you mm -hmm. see that in the newspaper sometimes. That they say someone put a wager, uh -huh. that a trader put a wager on, you know, the price of gasoline going up or a wager on the price of, you know, the uh, interest rates going down or so forth. It's not, uh, I wouldn't use the word gambling or the, use the word wager. Uh, I don't find that uh, to be correct because this is all about probability. Trading is all about probability. You're going to identify good candidates, you're going to use good money management, and you're controlling your market environment. Mm -hmm. Gambling is when you can't control your market environment. You're letting events happen to you, and you have no set, you know, control over it. Right. This you control when you get in, you control when you get out. And so, therefore, it's all about probability, identifying good candidates, using a stop loss, and as things go for you, managing the position and so forth. So let's look at this. You know, a good example here is the stock market. The stock market's going, going straight up. So we're trading with the trend. So mm -hmm. if you're trading with the trend, you're increasing the overall probability of, of you know, participating in that upward move. You can see that the trend's continuing on a weekly basis. And on a daily basis, we're a couple of days in. So we're not gambling that we think the stock markets go up. The stock market's going up, and we're participating in it by trading these e-mini futures contracts. And you can see as far as a dollar move goes, we've gone from 12,500 here just recently on a daily chart. We've had an unprecedented market move upward. So on a daily chart, we've gone from 12,500 to 13,200. So that's a 700 point move. That's a $3,500 move in less than two weeks in one contract. So it's a, it's, it's a matter of taking advantage of what the markets are giving us. And what we do is we put in a stop loss. We totally control our exposure. So if you want to put in a $250 stop loss, you can do so. If you want to put in a $500 stop loss, so you know what your maximum risk is. Mm -hmm. If you get stopped at your price, that's what your maximum exposure is. And that's a lot different than that G word that I'm not going to mention again. Yeah, okay. This is about identifying probability and trading with a plan. You have a reason to get in. You have a reason to get out. You're not flipping coins. You're, you're putting the numbers and the probability on your side. Okay. So that's how that works. <laughs> That was a long, long answer, and I liked it. <laughs> All right, let's Thank give you a, for that. Let's right. give a little market recap let's and do. see where we're at right now. The Dow Jones right now, Dow Jones futures making new all-time highs one more time. We're up 20. We've got the S&P up three points. The recent high was 1505. We took that out here so far in this session. We'll look to extend above that 1505. The bonds are steady with unemployment numbers coming out tomorrow morning at 730 Central Time. So that will impact these futures markets an hour before the stock market opens. The gold market is trying to find some stability, but overall, that's negative because the uh, the dollar's holding holding steady as well. I also wanted to take a look and see. We talked a little bit about crude oil. Crude oil's continuing down. We've got the short midterm trends in agreement to the downside. And if we can break below this recent low here, we can break below the 62.62, then you could see some acceleration on the downside for crude oil. But always be aware, trade with a stop loss because there are always world events that could drive the price of crude oil back up because it's a very, very emotional market. And that's the beauty of trade electronic contracts here that you can put in a stop loss and these are nearly 24-hour markets and you can get your uh, execution your trading plan executed anytime day or night even if you're not sitting there okay well thank you for that thank you for viewing the future focus program for the commodity explorer software please visit commodityexplorer.com for more information and to sign up for a 30-day money-back guarantee trial offer please email any questions or comments to trader at commodityexplorer.com.